Kim Kardashian spent last week expressing her dislike for the changes Instagram was making to their platform. Since they announced video was going to be a priority over photos and they will be showing users more people that they don't follow in the main feed. Frustrated, she and her sister Kylie, amongst a bunch of other celebrities, posted on their stories expressing that they wanted no further changes made to Instagram and they just want to see their friends on their feed. And Instagram listened and halted further changes. And it kind of looks Looks like Kanye is taking some notes and he's choosing to vocalize some of his opinions this week. I mean, honestly, Kanye expresses a ton of his opinions and he has been a big topic this year as he's been sharing his thoughts on a lot of things more publicly than he really has in the past. Social media does give so many people a voice and I think companies are really at the hand of a lot of celebrities right now or anyone that has a following these days. One negative thing said and people are attentively listening and and actively ready to turn on that company. We've seen it time and time again. Anytime somebody has a bad experience with an airline, they immediately tweet at the airline and they are met with immediate responses because these companies know that if somebody with a check mark is going to be tweeting at them, is going to be posting on Instagram about them, it is going to make them look bad and they want to fix the problem immediately to not further damage their company's looks. And some of the time, those companies that are getting called out, they really do need to be called out. And and that's exactly how Kanye felt this week when he was calling out Adidas. Now, Kanye at the end of the day is an extremely successful businessman, but his relationships with his business partners are upsetting him and he decided to vocalize his opinions on Instagrams through DMs this week. Kanye is known for a lot of things and yesterday being Yeezy Day, which technically I think it still kind of is Yeezy Day, all eyes were on his billion dollar brand. Yeezy Day came about as an annual release of Kanye West's shoe line at retail prices. Yeezy Day originated in 2019, skipped a year in 2020 during the pandemic, and began again last year. It was a way for people to get a better shot at buying the shoes, not at resale costs, because his shoes sell out quick, and they only drop every so often, and obviously they're way cheaper when you buy them at retail prices, but with the way that they drop and how quick they go, it's really hard to actually get your hands on a pair of these shoes, and they resale for just ridiculously expensive prices, so it's it's really unattainable for a lot of people. So Yeezy Day is kind of a day for Adidas to drop a bunch of shoes at once and give people a better chance at getting a pair at a not resale crazy price. Still expensive, but not as expensive as if you were to buy it from somebody else. And sometimes they could be fake. You just never know. But these sneakers could be purchased from multiple places on Yeezy Day, Adidas confirmed, Yeezy Supply, or the Adidas website. But this year, Kanye was not in support of Yeezy Day, and he wanted someone to hear him out. He reached out to Complex and sent them an Instagram message that said, Adidas made up the Yeezy Day idea without my approval, then went and brought back older styles without my approval picked colors and named them without my approval, went and hired people that worked for me without my approval, stole my colorways without my approval, stole my styles and material approaches without my approval, went and hired a GM of Yeezy without my approval, took talent on the production side and sprinkled them throughout Adidas originals without my approval. Even though they did a Balenciaga collaboration, they completely slowed down production on the shoes me and Dima developed for Gap. By trying to bully Gap, even though my contract states I can do casual shoes, which I was doing when I did fashion shows. When I originally ordered Adidas to make more Yeezy slides, the GM lied to my face and said they didn't have the capacity. Meanwhile, Adidas was copying my slides and making their own version of the Yeezy slides. Yeezy is 68% of Adidas online sales. God step in. Kanye was expressing a lot of feelings towards Adidas and clearly didn't agree with a lot more than just them doing another Yeezy day drop. He's saying they didn't get approval for a lot of stuff. They've been going behind his back and he is just not having it. And the biggest thing that he has really been focusing a lot of his anger towards is the fact that he feels like Adidas has been stealing his style, his designs, and most recently, they have stolen the designs for a pair of slides that he created for Yeezy. And these are the slides that Adidas has recently put out. And he spoke about this nearly a month ago on a post that he made on Instagram. It's not on his Instagram anymore because every time he posts like a new 
like rant that he's going on on Instagram. He has it up for like a couple of days and then he completely deletes it. So there's nothing on his Instagram right now. But at the time he posted addressing the Adidas CEO Casper and said, this is yay driving down the same street Kobe passed on. Maybe I feel that Mamba spirit right now to Casper. I'm not standing for this blatant copying no more to all sneaker culture, to every ball player, rapper, or even if you work at the store. This is for everyone who wants to express themselves, but feels they can't because they'll lose their contract or be called crazy. Bravery is not not being afraid. Bravery is overcoming your fear for your truth. This is yay with the blue paint on my face. These shoes represent the disrespect that people in power have to the talent. This shoe is a fake Yeezy made by Adidas themselves. I'm not talking to DC about this either. Casper, come talk to me. Happy Monday. Adidas has for the longest time taken inspiration from Yeezy and put similar designs out at a much cheaper price. And those shoes are all much easier to purchase than they are for a pair of Yeezys. They don't necessarily take anything away from Yeezy as the shoes are known as expensive. They're hard to buy. It's a luxury item to purchase and it's maintained its hype because of that. No other you know, Adidas shoe that's like a mock version of Yeezy is really getting that hype the same way that Yeezy is. Other brands have also followed suit as well, taking inspiration from their collabs and making similar shoes for their own company at a cheaper price. So this isn't the first time that a company has collabed with somebody and then taken inspiration from that collab and made their own cheaper version of it. There's always some knockoff version of something designer made. And I know a lot of people believe that it is offensive to the creator and original artist and people are upset for Kanye that this has happened to him. They do seem disappointed with his lack of approval in Yeezy Day though, as it has been a way to support him in the past. But with him saying that he's not approving of it, it kind of makes things complicated for a lot of people, whether you're a fan of him or you're a fan of the shoe world, or, you know, a lot of people are conflicted because the shoes, they did sell out like they always do. So him saying things like he didn't approve of Yeezy Day definitely was going to hold people back from buying these shoes. The chance to buy these shoes doesn't really come around that often. So people were going to take advantage anyway. So I don't think his words truly affected the sales of yesterday, but I do think it was conflicting for fans who probably wanted to share their purchases on social media, but didn't want to post what they got because they would be met with a lot of criticism for supporting something that the artist didn't approve of. And Kanye knows this isn't just happening to him, but to a lot of others out there. And he does want to speak on this because of that. That's why when he addressed this a month ago, he said that he was speaking for a lot more people than just himself, but anybody who was creating something and, you know, he just isn't afraid to speak his feelings. So that's what's going on with Kanye. That is the whole Yeezy Day situation him speaking out about it, him feeling like Adidas is just not it. Apparently his contract is up in 2026, so they're still contractually working together. I don't know what that will mean in the future, but I know it's not holding him back from doing other things with other brands. Like he is working with Gap right now. It is a whole thing. All of Kanye's business ventures are always a big deal. There's a lot of hype around them. It's really hard to get. And then it becomes really expensive in the resale. Honestly, it's expensive to begin with, but then it gets like even more expensive because it's like so exclusive and all that. I do want to mention something else that people are talking about. And it's kind of been adding some fuel to the fire with this easy day thing, because people are saying that Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are broken up. There's been rumors swirling around. Neither one of them have said anything, which a lot of people are like, whenever the Kardashians like hear rumors, Rumor about them and they never say anything that means it's true. I don't know, you guys. I really don't. As of right now, all I know is that Pete is filming a movie in Australia. So, of course, they're not going to be seen together all the time. Her businesses are in California. So are her kids. Her whole family is here. So, of course, she isn't going to be taking like four months off to go and be with her boyfriend. She is obviously going to be the businesswoman that she is. She's going to be the mother that she is. She can't just be off in Australia hanging out with him. And so because all these breakup rumors were swirling, people then were speculating that her and Kanye were maybe getting together. And I was like, what the heck, you guys? Let's debunk this whole thing. Let's be logical till we hear something factual. But people were saying this because she was posting on her story that North was designing things for a future Yeezy collection. And 
Kim has always been Kanye's number one supporter. Even after their divorce, she was still supporting him until he decided to you know, go on social media and say he didn't like her relationship with Pete and made a lot of things public from behind the scenes. But before that, she was very supportive of Kanye and she has always promoted him and his brand and she has always credited him for elevating her in her career and dressing her and you know, giving her this style, introducing her to aesthetics and all of this stuff. So she has really not been one to talk down on Kanye. And I don't think that her promoting this new Yeezy collection is in any correlation, meaning she is back together with Kanye and that her relationship with Pete Davidson is over. I honestly don't think that at all. I think she was literally just posting it because her daughter created something for Yeezy, which is a big deal. And that's exciting for her as a mom to see that her daughter is creating something for a brand. Even though it's her dad's brand, that's still a very big deal and something that she would want to show off and be proud of. So I think that is that. I wanted to clear that up because I've been seeing that go around, but I definitely wanna know what you guys think about Yeezy Day, Kanye's feelings towards Adidas, this whole situation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.